leukemias are basically blood cancers leukemias are basically divided into two main subgroups whether acute leukemias or chronic leukemias chronic leukemias as the name indicate are more chronic in nature that is they have a slower onset and then the progression is also over a longer period of time and acute leukemias as the name signifies are generally have a very shorter history a short history and a shorter rate of progression that is they progress very fast the most important part of leukemia is that it can affect the young children also or in the younger age group also and uh, the treatment of leukemia mainly depends upon what type of leukemia it is so identifying the type of leukemia is the most important factor and this is done not only by a, the diagnosis of leukemia the suspicion starts from a routine blood test the first common test that picks up leukemia is generally a peripheral blood smear or a peripheral smear as we say where or uh, the first suspicion comes from a low hp or a low red blood cell count or a low platelet count or the tlc which is abnormal that is where the first suspicion comes and the next step that is generally offered is a peripheral blood smear where the presence of atypical cells or the leukemia cells may be seen but this is the first part of the story and to have a full diagnosis we should go for specialized tests which include a bone marrow aspiration and then even tests like flow cytometry cytogenetics etc or molecular tests also where further identification of the of the exact type of leukemia is generally made then treatment of leukemia generally depends upon the type of leukemia that it is most chronic leukemias as already mentioned generally are chronic in nature or they have a long history and to a large extent can be treated with oral therapies there are targeted therapies which are available nowadays that specify certain targets the known targets for example in chronic myeloid leukemia uh, there is a known target which is known as bcr apl so you have targeted therapies directed against this which can make a long, long difference in the treatment of this uh, these cases and patients all the patient has needs to take is oral tablets for a long duration of time but for acute leukemias generally chemotherapy remains the mainstay of treatment apart from chemotherapy what is very important in treating leukemia cases is supportive therapy or prevention of infections that is a very important part of the treatment protocols so most uh, cases will also most oncologists will also advocate a good proper wholesome treatment which may require blood multiple blood transfusions platelet transfusions and other things as part of the treatment of leukemias